I asked ChatGPT to make me a workout plan, and it's actually pretty good. I let it know what I have access to in terms of equipment, gave it a brief description of what I want to achieve, my goals, and how many days I want to train. And while it's not perfect, it's pretty fucking good. So if we take a look here, um, it's essentially a push pull legs. Well, in this case, a push legs pull uh, little three day workout plan. And again, it's not perfect, but it's pretty fucking good. So taking a look here at day one, upper body push, chest, shoulders, and tries. So basically I told it, you know, I want to build or maintain muscle and really wanna focus on my shoulders and uh, my side delts and my calves because Lord knows I could use all the help in the world in that department. So taking a look here at this first workout, which I'm about to go do, we've got a warm up with some light cardio, dynamic stretching, and then it gets into an incline dumbbell press and a dumbbell shoulder press. Um, now, to me, that seems like just a, a bit repetitive. So I'm considering either just doing, swapping the incline dumbbell press for a flat dumbbell bench press or just doing the incline dumbbell press and scrapping dumbbell shoulder press. Uh, and then we get into TRX pushups, which those are fucking hard if you're doing them like parallel to the ground, uh, just with the lack of stability there. And then we got lateral raises, big fan of that. And then front raises, kind of get rid of those, especially with the incline dumbbell press and the dumbbell shoulder press. There's just a lot of front delt that I don't really need to do. And we've got tricep dips, overhead tricep extension, and calf raises. So it, it's kind of a lot of volume too, especially more than I've been doing. So we might tone this back and cut some stuff out, but let's go give it a shot. I'm looking at these other days here, we've got lower body and core. So we've got the warm up, goblet squats. Oh, I also told it that I don't like barbell squats because I don't. And uh, so we got goblet squats, RDLs, Bulgarian split squats, hamstring curls, calf raises, hanging leg raises, Russian twists, plank, cool down. And for the last day here, we've got pull-ups, bent over rows. Again, don't love bent over rows, so I might just take that out or swap that for something else. One arm dumbbell rows, face pulls, rear delt flies, bicep curls, hammer curls, and calf raises. So let's go give this push workout a shot. Okay, so let's give this shit a go. Decided to scrap the shoulder press and we're just gonna do the incline press. And I've got this set up at about, I think 20 degrees, uh, which is a pretty pretty low incline, not not much of a incline. Um, I don't know, it feels a little bit better. I feel like I can activate the chest a little bit more. So yeah, let's fucking hit it. All right, so like I said, I think this is about, yeah, 20 degrees is what it says. Oh, super light warm up here. Oh, oh chat GPT calls for eight sets, or no, not eight sets, four sets of eight to 12. So let's try to aim something where 12 would be tough. Let's maybe start with you know, four sets. Let's let's ease into it a bit. Let's go with 50 pound dumbbells. All right. Ugh. Our first set at 70 pound dumbbells. Going for eight to 12 reps. tough um got two more of those in me and i think we're gonna go for we're gonna kick it up a bit we're gonna go for 75 pounds and uh see how many reps we can get with that um but yeah that was that was kind of tough my workouts lately have been like 30 minutes max it's already been 11 and i'm on my first uh first exercise here so we will see how things go but uh yeah i'm really glad we're scrapping that Shoulder press. So after this, we got TRX push-ups, lateral raises, tricep dips, and an overhead tricep extension for dumbbell. We're not doing that. We're going for a uh, what do you call it? Uh, skull crusher. Skull crusher. <sighs> Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh. 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 oh man, that shit was pretty rough, uh, but we got it done. 75 pound dumbbell for 12 reps. So last set, best set here. Time to lay it all on the line. Um, so let's go for 80s. That sounds doable. All right, here we go. Last set, best set. <clears throat> He's so heavy. <sighs> oh God, that's one. myself go oh a little a little lower a little deeper on that last wrap and we almost didn't we almost didn't come back from that holy shit oh, oh god this calls for three sets of 10 to 15 i don't know if that's happening oh my god 10 was fucking hard we're gonna have to make these taller that ain't, we could barely do this. Okay, here we go. I mean, he's a little taller. So hopefully they don't suck as much. Oh, oh yeah. It's the balance. It's not even like the strength, it's just the fucking instability. Yeah. These are fucking hard. Oh. I feel like such a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. I really felt like the man ripping those 80s, those 80 pound dumbbells. But those, uh, those goddamn TRX push-ups done just humbled me. All right, I'm exposing myself by giving you guys this angle here to see how how much I need to prop myself up just to be able to get these done. God, those are over with. Okay, next up on deck, we've got lateral raises. Four sets of 12 to 15 reps. And how I've really been enjoying doing these is leaning up against the bench here and doing them like this. So we're gonna do that after I move the camera so I don't cut my fucking head off. Here we go. Let's go ahead. We're gonna get, we're gonna do one warm up set. We've got some nice, tiny little eight pound dumbbells. All right, so eight pounders for 15. Felt pretty light. So maybe, maybe we'll go, what do we think? 15s, 10s, I don't know. Luckily, we can split the difference because we got 12ers. So one thing I like to keep in mind with my lateral raises is they're not, it's not like directly out to the side. Hopefully you can see that, that makes sense. And it's not out in front, obviously. Otherwise it wouldn't be lateral raise. It's kind of somewhere in the middle there. And something I've really been focusing on lately is pushing like down and out. So I'm not initiating it with my traps. Yeah. Oh yeah, just like that, baby. Ah. <sighs> 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 
Okay, 15 with the 12ers, you know what that means. Get to graduate to the 15ers for these next two sets. 32 minutes in, just taking forever. 14% battery left, definitely enough for one more set. Can we get 15 with the 15s? <sighs> Didn't get much up there. That's as high as I can get him. Whew. That's what she said. Something I did today, which I don't always do a great job at doing, is the pre-workout nutrition. I'm doing air quotes because it really wasn't like a meal or anything, but had a couple dates, had a couple, about half a banana. Um, get some carbs in because I haven't eaten much other than a smoothie today. So, and I made sure I did that with plenty of time, you know, pre-workout carbs, pre-workout nutrition in general. Um, you know, I feel like people kind of like wait till the last minute or like right before their workout. And it just, you, you're gonna, you're gonna have a better time if you give yourself uh, enough time to actually digest it. So I gave myself at least, at least 30 minutes. It might've been more than that, maybe like 45 to an hour. Um, had probably, I don't know, close to 40-ish grams of carbs, maybe a little bit more than that, uh, with half a banana and two dates. And then I also uh, took my creatine then with in a little bit of water with shitload of uh, some pink Himalayan sea salt to get that pump. And then I also drank an entire hydro flask, so like 40 ounces of water. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty fucking juicy, but I mean, you can you can already tell that. So I don't, I don't need to tell you that. But anyways, let's get into this last set here. So last set, you know the drill, last set, best set. We got 15 reps using the 15 pounders last time, but I don't think that was, they, they were probably not the best reps. You can be the judge of that. Um, so for this last set of 15, we're gonna go with the 12 pounders and we've got this absolute banger of a song found on TikTok in the mix, the Fast Eddie meme it mix, Fast Eddie mix. This whole time I thought it was Fast Freddy. I like Fast Freddy better than Fast Eddie, but you know, nope, don't want a 12 and a 10. Definitely want two 12s. Okay, I think I can get more than 15. So we're gonna go till my fucking arms fall off. 15, 16, 7, 8, 19, 20. Whoo, ski. Okay, glad that's over. 40 minutes in, I got like three exercises. Okay, moving into some tricep work. So I don't do dips a lot. And so I'm not the strongest in them. So I'm gonna put a band on here to put my knees in because I'd rather get more reps and have better form than come on here and try to look like a fucking macho man for you and get a shittier workout. So what is it called for? Three sets of eight to 12. Oh, something else. I throw my fat grips on here. You don't need to do that, obviously. But having a wider thing to grab onto you know what I mean? Just helps disperse the amount of force going in your hand and joints. And for me, I have found that it feels better. So take that for what it's worth. Gonna lose some leg hairs in this, but hey, it'll be worth it to get jacked. Oh. Okay, that honestly felt pretty good. Maybe a little easy. I'm gonna try my next band down from that so it's not quite as much help. Okay, let's go ahead and hop right into set number dos. I'm gonna try this purple band out this time. See how that feels. Need a fresh song. And that ain't it. Sounds hyphy enough. Uh. Oh. 
man, that kind of started to hurt the left elbow there. Felt pretty good. Ugh. Here we go. Last set for dumb, uh, not dumbbell. There ain't a goddamn dumbbell in sight. Uh, last set for, <clears throat> last set for dips, if I can fucking speak or think. Going back to the green band. Elbow wasn't feeling the hottest on the last one, so we're gonna preserve that puppy. All right, one more tricep exercise, some calves, and we're fucking done. All right, last but certainly not least, you can't see me. Um, <laughs> last but certainly not least, we've got, if I just lean back like this, Roman share it. Um, well, fuck, we got calves after this, so this isn't even last. What I'm trying to say is we got dumbbell skull crushers, so let's just fucking do it instead of sitting there showing you my crotch. What is this call for? What is, what is trainer chat, chat GPT call for? Three sets, 10 to 12. Let's fucking do it. I was gonna do a warm-up set, but I'm pretty fired up from that. Now this isn't, <laughs> this might sound like a warm-up set. We're just gonna do some 25s. <laughs> pretty fucking good. I wish we had 35s and those rubber dumbbells, because I really prefer those. Well, in general, but especially for these. All right, fuck the 35s that we don't have. Uh, I was gonna say go straight to 40s, but that sounds like elbow pain, so we're gonna be a pussy and grab the 30s. Ugh. Oh yeah, I'm really glad we didn't grab the 40s, because that hurt. That's 10. We're gonna get two negative reps. Ah, no we're not. Come on, it's gonna hurt. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up workout one by Chad GPT. You just gotta do some calf raises to grow these embarrassingly small calves. But I'm sure you don't really wanna see that. So I'm gonna do these in the comfort my own privacy and spare you from that. So workout one by ChatGPT. I mean, it was nothing earth shattering, but pretty fucking solid, to be honest. Um, I think when I first looked at the workouts that it put together, I was pleasantly surprised by how they looked. And after doing the first one, yeah. Curious to see that leg day tomorrow, but yeah, we'll see you then. Peace. I should probably just not even do those, fuck it.